In this village in central Hubei province, life may seem to move slowly, but it's full speed ahead inside this factory. Tang Yunguo is at the helm with a pipe in his mouth while maneuvering a hot iron plate. He's making a walk from scratch, and he's a stickler for details. The edge of the walk must be round, and the bottom must be level. To achieve this, he has to heat the piece of steel at extremely high temperatures. The melting process is for burning out the toxic elements, and secondly, it becomes softer and easier for hammering. It is around 1,500 to 1,600 degrees centigrade. Tong then molds it by striking it over and over again. I need to hammer it tens of thousands of times, and after it gets back to room temperature, it needs another 20,000 strikes. Tong has been at it since he was 13, and he believes his walks are a world away from what machines could ever deliver. Customers like Fu Li Ting agree. The experience is closer to my childhood memory. None of the stuff we bought when we were children was mass produced on the factory assembly lines. They were all handmade, piece by piece. So I think this pan is better. Fu is the exact customer Tian Huan is trying to attract. He started the factory in Hubei three years ago and now owns six shops. Tian sells 300 to 400 walks a month for more than $140 a piece, nearly three times the price of a machine-made walk. He says his walks cater to a growing demand by China's young and affluent. Now China is developing very fast. The material standard of living is getting higher and higher, so people have a higher need for spiritual pursuit and sentiment. I see a big opportunity there in exploring the handmade products. So Tang Yunguo will keep hammering away, helping cement the wok's place in the Chinese kitchen. Francis Ko, CGTN.